In this last section, we will talk about Graham's Law of Diffusion and Effusion. Diffusion is the gradual mixing of the molecules or two or more gases owing to their molecular motions. I like to describe this as if someone opened a bottle of perfume and say you were a couple of feet away from it. It would take a certain amount of time for the gaseous molecules in the perfume, the smell of the perfume to get to your nose. That is diffusion that the gaseous molecules that represent the perfume must gradually mix with the gaseous molecules in our atmosphere and that takes a certain amount of time and it has to travel a distance. Effusion is the escaping of a gas molecule through a small opening into an empty compartment and this is an important idea in certain aspects of spectrometry. Really this would mean say I had two boxes, one box was filled with a gas and another box was empty and then we put a small hole in between the two boxes. Over time the gaseous molecules would effuse into the empty box and eventually they would reach kind of an equilibrium where both boxes had the same number of moles of gas. Graham's law of diffusion and effusion says that both of these ideas, effusion and effusion, are related to the molar masses of the gases that we are investigating. The rate of effusion of gas 1 divided by the rate of effusion of gas 2 is equal to the molar mass of gas 2 divided by the molar mass of gas 1 raised to the one half power, which is also saying the square root. One thing you want to notice here is that gas 1 is on the top on the left hand side and molar mass of gas 1 is on the bottom on the right hand side. Using this we can compare diffusion and effusion of two different gases. So if we have information about one gas, we can calculate information about the second gas. So here M is molar mass of the gases. And in this case, we do not need to convert to kilograms per mole. And that's because R is not involved in this equation. The rates for effusion are not really defined. So there's no defined units for rate of effusion. They can be uh, quite a number of different things, so like mole per unit of time, so like mole per second or mole per hour, but then they could be just in moles. So you can say you know, how many moles of a gas effused during a certain amount of time, or even just a distance in meters. And really this is just going to allow us to describe if something happened to one gas, what's gonna happen to a second gas if we know the molar mass of both of those. So the idea is whatever unit we use for effusion, for one gas is going to be the unit for effusion for the second gas. So let's take a look at an example of this. If I have one mole of N2, which effuses through an opening during a specific amount of time, how many moles of H2 will effuse through that same opening in the same amount of time? So we set up this equation and what we're looking for is going to be the rate of effusion for H2. So we go ahead and we want to set that on the top to make our calculations easier. And then we're going to set this against the molar masses. So on the right hand side of this equation, we're going to take the molar mass of nitrogen and divide by the molar mass of hydrogen and take the square root. And this is going to be equated to the rate of effusion for H2 divided by the rate of effusion for N2. So I go to the periodic table, I find the molar mass for N2, which is 28 grams per mole. I find the molar mass of H2, which is 2.02 grams per mole. I divide one by the other and I take the square root and then we get the number 3.72. This 3.72 is equal to this right hand side of the equation. I then can equate this, the rate of effusion for H2 divided by the rate of effusion for N2 to this 3.72 and what we are solving for is the rate of H2. So the rate of H2 is equal to 3.72 times the rate of N2 and when we do this multiplication the rate of N2 is given here we said one mole and so the N answer says that in the same amount of time it took one mole of N2 to effuse, 3.72 moles would be able to effuse through that same opening in that same amount of time. And this kind of makes sense that this effusion and diffusion are related to velocities of the gases. So the smaller molecule would be able to go faster and so it would be expected to effuse and diffuse faster. So hydrogen is smaller, so we expect it to effuse faster. So nitrogen effused one mole, so hydrogen effused more moles or came through quicker and provided 3.72 moles.